I haven't used CDJs in over two years. Should be interesting. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. I didn't know you guys were here. But before I get the vlog started, I want to wish you guys a happy 2019. I hope you conquer anything you want in this resolution. Just make it happen because anything in this world is achievable, okay? Now, I want to give a big, big, big thank you to all my new subscribers and all the love I'm getting on the tutorials. If you have any questions on the videos I posted before, just drop a comment below and I try to address them as quick as possible. Now, welcome to season two of vlogging, where in this season, I'm gonna focus more on the club scenes, and I'll show you the behind the scenes that people don't know, such as the DJs, the promotions, the bartenders, a lot of good content, I promise you that, all right? In this vlog, in this specific vlog, I'm going back to the last spot of my last video from my last season. Yeah, I know, a little bit complicated. I'm gonna leave the link right up here if you wanna watch the last vlog, all right? I'm gonna introduce you to my brother, Justin, He's a cool guy. He's actually one of the one of the managers at the club, and I can give you a little bit more details about it. But uh, I gotta dress up. I can't go out like this. So I'll meet you soon. Ready? Ah, much better. Let's go. All right. So I'm on my way to the club, and as I was looking out the window, I saw that it's raining. And one of the club's enemies is the actual Mother Nature because when it's raining or when it's snowing or whatever, people don't want to come out. So today might be a slow night. Let's see how it goes, all right? But on a brighter note, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of New Brunswick. You ready? What you guys think about the town, right? Nice little town. Fun fact about the city, it's home to Rutgers University, so there's a lot of college kids. So one thing, you want to appeal to the younger crowd, why not bring the bars and the lounges so people can hang out? Let me show you a little bit about the club now. You guys are ready? You guys are ready for an epic night? I guess so. <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't raining. It was raining where I was. Where? In Morristown. It was raining all day today, maybe that's why. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Look at this. Mad cool, right? Okay guys, so I'm here at the club now. So I'm just texting Justin to ask him where am I setting up, what's going on tonight, see what's the plans and go on from there. Okay guys, so I just spoke to Justin and he actually has me in the lounge upstairs, which I don't mind, it's pretty cool. Let's go. Crazy pack, the crazy pack, unwalkable. Oh, we got some lights over here. Okay guys, so they actually have me in an upstairs lounge and excuse me for using my cell phone lighting but the lighting here is really, really dim. Now let me show you the system, you ready? I haven't used CDJs in over two years. Should be interesting. Wow, man, what an amazing party, Just. Thank you for having me. It was me. a pleasure. All right, man. But before we sign out, we have to leave with a tip, all right? So what can you share with the audience that wants to get a club booking? To get a club booking, it's always better to have a following. Okay, so you need to have a following. Does it need, Do you need more than 1,000, more than two? I'd be, you don't even need that many. 
You just need some loyal friends that are willing to come visit you every time you're here. So you're saying if you bring more than 10 people, we have a potential you booking. Could. Yeah, it's a good base. That's crazy. It's a so, good base. <laughs> so after you bring the people, what's the next tip you could give people? You keep people. Oh, I forgot that. Play to the crowd a little bit mm. if you have to. You don't have to stick to one type of music, but you got to keep everyone happy. You hear that? So once you bring your friends, you entertain them and they stay here, you have a potential booking or a residency here. So what's the third tip though? Be humble. Mm. Don't think <laughs> you're better than you are. Because you know why? And I have to piggyback on this. I've met a lot of DJs that were like, hey, um... I'm this person, I have this and this extensive resume, but at the end, you're still garbage. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could be a great DJ, but if you're, <laughs> if you're conceited about it, no one's going to like you, no one's going to want you back. All right, then. So to summarize this, all right, you need to have a following. You need to entertain people. Last but not least, still be humble. Once you have those three things, you can potentially have a residency like myself. Just thank you for having me. Oh, so and we'll see you next time. All right? <laughs>